Yes. Yeah, good evening all. So myself, I'm Vijay. Like I hold 20 plus years of experience. Yes. Which includes which includes experience in different technologies like Informatica, Big Data, Hadoop, Spark, PySpark, and this Azure Data Engineering, right? Yes. Before I start, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not, right? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Azure Data Engineer talking about this cloud, right? It is majorly utilized. Cloud is majorly utilized for. Majorly utilized for storing, analyzing, and delivering data. Storing, analyzing, and delivering data. In various form, in various form, right? Yes. We talk about On premises databases. If we talk about this on premises databases, here we need to set up, here we need to set up. Uh, We need to set up our own hardware infrastructure. On top of that, OS installation. Purchasing database license. That's a database license, installation of database server. Installation of database server, right. Designing. Database objects. We need to set up our own hardware infrastructure on top of that OS installation, purchasing database license, installation of database server, designing database objects. Right. To maintain all this, to maintain all this, right? Yes. We require separate teams. We require separate teams, right? We require separate teams like hardware team, like the hardware team, operating system team. Networking team, security team, database administrators,
but here everything in the cloud premises, right? But here everything in the cloud premises. We no need to maintain all this. No need to maintain any infrastructure, no need to no need of any licenses. Here everything in the cloud environment, right? Everything in the cloud environment. Yes. Data engineers, data engineers, with the help of cloud resources, with the help of cloud services. Data engineers with the help of cloud services work on the data, they work on the data and make it make it structured and useful make it structured and useful data engineers with the help of cloud services work on the data and make it structured and useful data engineers responsible data engineers responsible for smooth data flow for smooth data flow. Smooth data flow from source to destination. From source to destination. Data engineer. Data engineer is responsible for preparing the data. They're responsible for preparing data, cleansing data, cleansing or filtering data, transforming data, processing data. Data engineers are responsible for preparing data, cleansing data, transforming data, processing data. So most of them will ask the difference between this data engineer, data scientist, data analyst, right? Yes. Data scientist. Data analyst. What is the difference between data scientist, data analyst, data scientist strategizes for the future, strategizes for the future, strategizes for the future, right. It's going to analyze the data, analyze the data, identify the patterns, Identify the patterns, recommendations for the future, strategies for the future, analyze the data, identify the patterns and recommendations for the future. Data scientist strategies for the future, right? Data analyst summarizes the past. Summarizes the past. They are going to analyze the data. Summarize the data of the past. Visualizing the data. Summarizes the past, analyze the data, 
summarize the data of the past and visualizing the data. Yes. Data scientist strategies for the future and uh, data analyst summarizes past. Data engineer. And does all the groundwork. Does all the groundwork for data scientist for data scientist and data analyst. More than eighty percent of. More than 80% of data analysis work is done by data engineers. More than 80% of data analysis work is done by data engineers. More than 80% of the data analysis work is done by data engineers. Eighty percent of the data analysis work is done by data engineers. Data engineers they are going to involve so data engineering involves right yes. Engineering involves What are the sources of the data? What are the sources of the data? Secondly, what are what is the format of the data? Secondly, right? What is the format of the data? How to transform data? What is the destination of the data? Target. What are the sources of the data? What are the what is the format of the data? How to transform data? What is the destination of the data that is target? Why Azure Data Engineering is in demand, right? Observe this. Why Azure Data Engineering? Why Azure Data Engineering? And why Azure Data Engineering in demand? Okay. To talk about any specific organization. Observe this. This is an organization. This is an organization, right? This organization wants to increase the revenue by utilizing the customer behavioral data on its website. 
the, the organizing the organization is using azure for its operations so it is going to hire it is going to hire two people the first one like azure data engineer azure data engineer is the one secondly is going to hire data scientist data scientist what is the work of azure data engineer first data engineer is going to create a data warehouse he is going to create a data warehouse what is a data warehouse see it is going to create data warehouse for the organization a data warehouse is the storage of structured and queryable data. Storage of structured and queryable data. It contains data from various resources such as user logs, clicks, existing customer data. Data engineers structures this data, stores it and monitors it in the data warehouse. It's going to structure the data, stores the data and monitors it in the data warehouse. Secondly, the data engineer communicates with the data scientist. The data engineer communicates with the data scientist to understand the data requirement, to understand the data requirement. The data engineer communicates with the data scientist to understand the data requirement. He also communicates with the business team to know the business requirements of the organization. So of the organization. He has to keep in mind the business needs when dealing with the data in the hand, right? Data scientists, then they are going to analyze and create insights from the processed data. The business team requires some dashboards to, for the visualizing of these key insights. So it helps the team. So it is going to help the team read the data insights easily. Data engineers constantly, they are going to process the data, analyzing the data and monitor the data. They are going to create a data pipelines. He creates data pipelines through which data is integrated with all the crucial stages of the data flow. He also makes sure the pipeline is also efficient and secure. He also makes sure that the pipeline is always efficient and secure. This is the primary role need to be played by a, as a data engineer professional. This is the primary loan need to like primary loan need to be paid by a data engineer professional, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if you see the roles of Azure data engineers, one second. Role of Azure Data Engineer. One second. One second. A role of a role of Azure Data Engineer roles of role of Azure Data Engineer. Mm. First one.
role of Azure Data Engine, right? Designing. Entire data flow architectures. Designing the entire data flow architecture. Designing the entire data flow architecture. Designing the entire data flow architecture. And also they are going to create a creating data warehouse, creating data warehouse. For storage of analytical data, analytical data, designing the entire data flow architecture, creating data warehouse for storage of analytical data. It makes fast and easy to query the data for analysis. And the majorly the key task of this uh, Azure Data Engineer, AD, ETL, ETL, right? Extract, transform, and load. Extract. Transform, load. ETL, extract, transform, and load. Is the key process. ETL extract transform load is the key process or is the key task is the key task so this uh, data engineers they are going to extract data from multiple sources transform it into structured data queryable data and then load this data into company storage service for further business evaluations by the data scientists. Data monitoring. Data engineers make sure that the ETL is performed in a proper way. Okay. Data engineers make sure, right? That the ETL is performed in a proper way. And data is available. Data is available anywhere it is required. And next step is nature. Data monitoring. Data monitoring. Data engineers make sure that the ETL is performed in a proper way. And uh, data security. Ensuring of data security is also a major responsibility of the data engineers. Data need to be secure at each step of the process without any data leaks or exposure, right? Collaboration and communication. Collaboration and the communication, right? Yes. See this, uh, they have to constantly communicate with the business team to check the data requirements check if the team needs the data insights. Collaboration with the data scientist, delivering the data as per the requirement. Next. Analytics, right? Data engineers analyze the data and transform it into structured data in useful format. They need to have this strong analytical knowledge to perform this analysis and also like automation, right? They have to automate certain process which requires minimal human intervention, such as extraction, right? Yes. So these are the main roles of this Azure Data Engineer. There's the main roles of Azure.
question. Yes, I'll come back to your queries, right? Yes, I'll come back to your queries. Yeah, moment. Yes. So designing the entire data flow architecture, creating data warehouse for the storage of analytical data, extract, transform, load, data monitoring, data security, collaboration, communication, analytics, automation, right? Yes. Azure Data Engineering, Azure Data Engineering Products. Azure Data Engineering Products, right? Yes. See this one. Azure SQL, Azure Data Lake, Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Databricks, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Streaming. Azure Key Vault. So these are the data engineering products, right? Yes. Azure SQL, simply I can say it's a cloud or DBMS. In simple words, first I'll describe, right? Azure SQL. Azure SQL. It is a cloud or DBMS. Cloud or DBMS of Microsoft. Of Microsoft in Azure. It is for OLDP operations. It is for OLDP operations. OLTP captures the end-user transactions. Second day. This is for OLTP operations. It is not for data warehouse. It is not for data warehouse. Azure Data Lake. distributed you can say it's a distributed file system with unlimited data storage in cloud that is data lake there is in the azure sql azure data
distributed file system with unlimited data storage in our folder is what data lake. Third, Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory area in a single loop. It is a cloud ETL. It is a cloud based ETL. Cloud based ETL of Microsoft. Of Microsoft in Azure. The cloud based ETL of Microsoft in Azure. Azure Synapse. It's a cloud RDBMS. It's a cloud RDBMS. The two for data warehouse. For data warehouse. For analytics. For batch processing. For parallel processing. Azure Databricks. Azure Databricks. ADB. I can say it is a Apache Spark based. It is a Apache Spark based. Spark based data analytics. Data analytics platform. So it brings together the data science, data engineering, and business together, right? It's Apache Spark based data analytics platform. Azure Streaming Analytics. It is a real time analytics and event processing, event processing engine for analyzing and processing, for analyzing and processing high volumes. Of streaming the data, why volumes of streaming data? Streaming data means data which keeps on generating, data which keeps on incrementing, right? And it's processing high volumes of streaming data from multiple sources. From multiple sources simultaneously. Processing high volumes of streaming data. From multiple sources simultaneously, right? Yes. Azure Cosmos DB. Cosmos DB. It is a cloud based. Simply, I can say it is a cloud based NoSQL database. It is a cloud-based NoSQL database. NoSQL database, schema-less behavior, random access. They are highly scalable. Record to record different number of fields can be maintained. Azure Key Vault. The secure key management. It's 
सिक्योर की मैनेजमेंट टू प्रोटेक्ट डेटा इन द क्लाउड ओके Azure SQL, Azure Data Lake, Azure Azure SQL. It's a cloud RDBMS. Azure Data Lake. It's a distributed file system. Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based ETL. Azure Synapse is a cloud RDBMS for data warehouse. Azure DataBricks. It's a Apache Spark-based data analytics platform. Azure Streaming Analytics, analyzing and processing high volumes of streaming data. Cosmos DB is a cloud-based NoSQL database, key vault, secure key management to protect data in the cloud right yes if you talk about this job market of azure data engineering job market data engineering job market of azure data engineer right according to microsoft right every year like lakhs of companies are registering themselves in azure more than 95 percent of the fortune Finite companies are utilizing Azure cloud services, in turn increasing the number of job opportunities for Azure data engineers constantly. Major companies are opting to Azure more and more, organizing, shifting to Azure. They already they are utilizing it regularly, needs professionals right, who can work on Azure and handle big data. According to the pay scales, even according to the pay scales, right, data engineers has got the highest average salary as closely as data scientists according to the survey right the top two highest paying jobs data engineers and data scientists data engineers are the emerging jobs are top ranking jobs around the world so even companies such as facebook intel microsoft amazon are interested in hiring data engineers the great salary packages even like tech gems including google apple Cognizant, Walmart, all the offering high paying jobs to data engineers. Right? You see the course content, right? And majorly I'll be discussing Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Engineering, Azure Synapse Analytics that you can check with this. ADF. So, overview of the resources first about all the resources Databricks, Blob Storage, Azure SQL, uh, Key Vault, Azure Synapse, Cosmos DB. Azure Data Factory. What is Azure Data Factory? Data Factory portal, top levels, pipelines, activities, link service, data sets, triggers, data flow integration runtime, right? Pipeline. What is pipeline? Creating a new pipeline, organizing pipelines into folders, debugging pipeline, publish pipeline, parameters for pipeline parameters. Linker service. What is a linker service? Creating a linker service for blob. For SQL database, for SQL server, data lake, data sets, what is data set, data set for Avro, binary, CSV, Excel, JSON, ORC, Parquet, XML, blob, right, parameterization, data set parameterizations, activities, weight, variables, creating set, append variable, copy data, copy files from blob container to another container, copy data from blob to SQL database, or data lake, Databricks notebook, Azure function, lookup, stored procedure, get metadata, delete, execute pipeline, validation, triggers, what is a trigger, integration runtime, Azure auto resolve integration runtime, Azure manage virtual network, source control, git configuration, ARM template, Azure DevOps reports, manage private endpoints, monitoring ADF jobs, alerts, data flows, data flow debug, mapping data flow, what is data flow? Filter different types of transformation, filter, join, conditional split, derived column, exist union, lookup, sort, group by pivot, unpivot, flatten, flattening, parse, stingify, right? Validate schema, schema drift, remove duplicate rows using mapping data flows in Azure Data Flow, SCD types using mapping data flow, right? Nearly 50 exercises I'm going to discuss about, right? All this 50 exercises, right? How to set up integration runtime, how to solve until activity data flows, how to use Azure DevOps and debugging the pipelines, how to create schedule pipelines using triggers, how to create a trigger dependency, 
how to add one pipeline and another pipeline, right? Coming to the Azure Databricks, before I go with Databricks, I'll go into give introduction on this big data, going to give introduction on this Hadoop, going to give the introduction on Spark, introduction on cloud computing, introduction to this Azure, right? And coming back to this Azure Databricks, Azure Databricks architecture, main concepts, Databricks service, uh, Databricks service, Azure CLI, adding users, groups to the workspace, creating cluster from the user interface, and Databricks cluster management, displaying cluster, starting cluster, terminating a cluster, deleting a cluster, cluster information, cluster loss, cluster access control, types of cluster, all-purpose job cluster, Databricks pools, Databricks without pools, Databricks with pools, cluster mode, standard high concurrency, single mode, auto-scaling, Databricks runtime versions, multi-user clusters, Databricks utilities, credential utility, data utility, file system utility, job utility, Library utility, notebook utility, secrets, right, widgets, limitations of utilities, Databricks integration with blob storage, the Azure data storage, data lake, Azure SQL database, Synapse, Snowflake, handling multiple file formats, CSV, JSON, Parquet, XML, ORC, Avro, data batch processing, incremental load, historical load, date transformations, aggregations, chance operations, union operations. Streaming API, what is streaming, process streaming, uses SpicePark API, handling bad records, stream data into Gen2 Lake, load the data into tables, Databricks Lake House, Delta Lake, difference between Data Lake and Delta Lake, reaction to Delta Lake, features of Delta Lake, how to create Delta Lake, DML operations in Delta Lake, smudge statements, handling SD type 1 and type 2, handling data deduplications, handling streaming data workflows in Databricks, reduction to workflows, Creating run and management Databricks jobs, scheduling uh, this Databricks jobs, Azure Synapse, introduction to this Azure Synapse, overview of pools using Azure Synapse analytics, Azure storage accounts, integration with Azure Synapse, Azure Synapse triggers, scheduled trigger in Azure Synapse, event based triggers, Azure SQL database integration with Azure Synapse, incremental load to Azure Synapse, L logging and notifying, right? A key vault integration. Deep drive into copy activity, data flows introduction, data flows filter, join union, lookup, pivot, alter, removing SED type, and uh, S spark pool introduction in Azure Synapse. So, this all will be discussing in brief, right? About this, apart from this ADF Azure Databricks, this Synapse. So, yeah, Azure Databricks with PySpark, right? So, the SpySpark, you know, the, about that concept of data frames data frame api i'm going to discuss what are the different functions involved in that and uh spark with python implementation right by spark fine apart from this you also get knowledge on this uh, azure sql azure data lake azure cosmos azure synapse right so some what is the prerequisites for this course means just uh, uh, basic sql basic python is the prerequisites right yeah. So yes, yes, Mohammad, right? So ADB, PySpark, real-time scenarios for writing PySpark code in notebooks also included in this. Just basic SQL and basic Python. So before I go with the practicals of Databricks, right? I'll just brief you the syntaxes of Python for two, three sessions, right? So in brief, in depth, we'll be discussing about all this. Azure Data Factory. So initially, you can step in into the company as a data Azure Data ADF developer, or Databricks developer, Azure Data Engineer, right? So the course duration is around three months. If people who wants to go with ADF, it's like forty days. Okay. So you'll be getting the uh, session video each and every session video, soft copy of the class notes, a WhatsApp group for technical discussion, interview questions after the completing, right? Yes, and the timings of this batch, let me make it clear about the timings. So initially first week, it first one week, one week to 10 days, it will be at 4 p.m. in the evening. Later it will be at 5 p.m. up to the end of the course. 
So now it's starting at 4 p.m. Right? For the next 10 days, it will be at 4 p.m. But after that, it is going to start at 5 p.m. up to the end of the course. Right? Any other queries from your side, anyone? Okay. A lot of working. Tomorrow also, everybody can attend the session same time at 4 o'clock using the same link to see more on this, right? Fine. So if I'm done with the queries, if there are no other query, I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, same time. So thank you all for your time. Thank you. Meet you tomorrow. Bye.